Hello there! Now let's look at the Campylia of Eudoxus. Uh, let's see this curve. So here we see a sketch of the curve in question. Now look, this is an algebraic representation. Um, and in fact, if you look at the algebra here, you would say, well, shouldn't 0, 0 be on the curve? Well, y yes, 0, 0 probably should be on the curve, but for historical reasons, it's not. Uh, Eudoxus was like other ancient Greeks. He was interested in representing numbers as lengths. And a particular interest to him and two other Greek mathematicians was the cube root of 2. This curve has a connection to the cube root of 2, although it's not clear at all from the equation or from what I see here. But I'm going to see if I can explain just one case of that. If I put a circle, and this circle has radius square root of 1 half, let's put it back, then this distance here, the distance from get a good color too, the origin to the intersection point of uh, the curve and our circle, this distance is the cube root of 2. And so this is, this is what Eudoxus was thinking about when he drew this curve. Now let's see if we can use modern methods, specifically calculus and implicit differentiation, to find a, uh, a formula for the slope of the tangent line. All right, now let's use implicit differentiation, and hence the chain rule, to find a formula for the slope of the tangent line to this curve. So here we are. We're going to use implicit differentiation. Uh, in particular, we're going to see the chain rule in action. So let's take the derivative of both sides. We're going to have 4x cubed uh, is equal to 2y times y prime, here's this derivative of y being kicked out at, by the chain rule, plus 2x. And now we simply solve for y prime. So we're going to have 4x cubed minus 2x is equal to 2y times y prime. And finally we have 4x cubed minus 2x all over 2y is equal to y prime. So we've done the calculation, but, but, but how do we know if we're right? You know, mathematics really is about knowing that you're right without having the answers around. How can we check our answer? So let's see if we can analyze why this derivative makes sense. Now finding an actual point on this curve uh, may, be, may be easy, may be hard, but I think we can just do it by looking. So look, if x is say, if x and y are say around here, well then x, y, y is kind of big, but the uh, x and y are y is a little, x is a little smaller, but when we cube x it's going to be much larger and even subtracting 2x is going to make that much difference. So this is, so if you have a point up here, the slope of the tangent line is going to be a large positive value and, and we can see that happens. On the other hand, if x is negative when we're over here, we can see that as we plug in a value for x we're going to get a large negative value of x over a smaller uh, value of y. So again we're going to have a large uh, negative slope. On the other hand, if we pull y down close to zero, you can see that your slope is going to become more and more vertical, and in, indeed that's what happens. Uh, the derivative doesn't even exist at, uh, at when y equals zero. So I think this makes sense as the correct answer. All right, so we used implicit differentiation, and hence the chain rule, to differentiate the Campylia of Eudoxus. Let's go do some more math.